יצחק הרצוג, רב תודה שבאת, שזה משהו שאני באמת מעריכה. Thank you so much for your wise words and for your constant efforts to strengthen the ties between the U.S. and Israel. I'm also so grateful to Chabad GW. I'd like my fellow board members to please rise. And especially to you, Rabbi Shanto, and this campus community for giving me the platform to share my thoughts about a country that I hold so close to my heart. An inspiration of mine, Holocaust survivor and Nobel laureate Eli Wiesel notably said, as a Jew, I need Israel. More precisely, I can live as a Jew outside Israel, but not without Israel. I'm Sabrina Soffer, and I'm a sophomore here at GW. My name bears Israel in its roots. Saba, meaning cactus fruit, the brand of the iconic Israeli. Rough on the edges, prickly on the outside, but most soft, sweet, and compassionate on the inside. As Israeli activist and author Noah Tishby writes, once you get to know Saba, she's your bestie for life. A true friend, she's as loyal as ever. This strong loyalty on a personal level is personified in Israel as a nation. Loyal to the protection of its people, to virtuous ethics and principles, to innovation and inclusivity, to progressive ideals. Israel's compassionate spiritual heart lies in its Judaism, in the tenet of tikkun olam, self-repair to repair the world and make it a better place. So why have misunderstandings permeated Israel's reality, tarnished her reputation, and morphed into heinous, baseless bigotry? The battle of the narrative is an existential threat to Israel. Myths are mired in hatred, which has culminated in the notorious epidemic of anti-Zionism that has infected much of this generation's consciousness. Anti-Zionism is not criticism or legitimate critique. It's a movement that twists truth, that denies history. It denies that Israelite Jews are native inhabitants of the land. It denies that Israel is the promised land of the Jewish people. It is a movement that seeks the erasure of Israel and the eradication of its Jews from the river to the sea. Anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism, and there is no way around that. Like any other country, Israel is far from perfect. There's conflict on both sides. Israel is ravaged by waves of terror, and the Palestinian people are suffering. But Israel is not the culprit. When I visited Ida refugee camp in Bethlehem this past summer, I saw the suffering with my own eyes. Children inoculated with hatred toward their neighbors, kept barefoot and hungry as their own authorities embezzled international aid, including U.S. taxpayer funds, then used their civilians as weaponry and human shields. Detestation and destruction are the antithesis of Israel's dreams. Protection, peace, and prosperity are. Israel stands loyal to her tenant of repair, striving to terminate the suffering of all, once and for all. But as the fourth Prime Minister of Israel, Golda Meir, once said, if the Arabs put down their weapons, there will be no more war. If Israel puts down her weapons, there will be no Israel. Israel is an island of democracy, a tiny lighthouse in a turbulent ocean of autocracy and animosity. We need her. The primary message I want to send tonight is that we must recognize Israel for who she really is, a sacred homeland to the Jewish people despite our millennia of exile, a sanctuary to Holocaust refugees and displaced Jews from other lands, including my forebears from Egypt, Iraq, and Dagestan. On this day, November 30th, which commemorates Jewish refugees expelled from Arab countries, I hold my grandparents, who were ousted from Egypt in the early 50s and found Israel as their sanctuary, in my thoughts. Today, I'm grateful for Israel's existence and resilience that ensured the survival of my grandparents, the endurance of my family, and many more. Israel stands as an eternal homecoming to international Jewry, a welcome place like no other to innumerable religious, cultural, and ethnic groups. It's not all conflict, chaos, and hate. Headlines so often wash over the hidden harmonies of coexistence, of teamwork, and love in the land. Israel has a heart, and just like all of us, that heart has long yearned for peace. She remains awaiting a willing partner, a willing hand.
My words tonight go beyond Hasbara, Hebrew for explanation. I want to instill us with tikva, hope. It is my hope that all of us will see truth and recognize Israel with the dignity she deserves, acquire factual knowledge, share it openly, publicly, and most important, proudly. We who are Jewish must be mindful of the dream of those who came before us, not just immediately, but for many generations, who persevered and persisted through the most difficult times. We must commit to carry their legacy and our heritage with strength and determination, and as Rabbi Shem Tov always says, with robust Semitism. It is my hope that each and every one of you here maneuvers through the layers of misunderstandings and the prickly spikes of imperfection to appreciate our beloved ally, our true friend, Israel, and most importantly, to be loyal to her, just as she is to us. Thank you so much.